just given the nature of where the world was at and um, how some of our, our assets played uh, in different leagues all over the world, some in Europe, as you mentioned, some in the American Hockey League and, and obviously the big team here in Edmonton. It's nice to have everybody together and it's nice to be able to get um, uh, a first-hand look rather than watching something on video and, and uh, we spent a lot of time over the last uh, few months uh, preparing for this camp and uh, getting a handle on uh, the players that were coming in what their strengths were and um, it's going to be nice to uh, see the whites of their eyes and and um, you know really uh, roll our sleeves up and get to work with these young players. Great opportunity for Philip to come in and um, be with his peer group again, his age group, uh, some of the players that have been drafted alongside of him. Obviously, he had the experience of coming into the camp uh, during the bubble um, last summer, and uh, that was a fantastic experience, but um, that was with a lot of the players on the big club. There were a few younger prospects uh, mixed in there, but uh, now he, he has a good opportunity to lay a foundation for um, his season. He has an opportunity to build confidence each and every day uh, so that he's ready when uh, main camp starts next week. I was happy with the start of the season. Um, went uh, to World Juniors and uh, didn't really go our way in World Juniors and uh, come back and uh, wasn't really happy with the, the finish of the season. But uh, uh, yeah, I was preparing, preparing myself this summer to have a better season this year. Um, so just look forward for it. I feel like I want to improve everything in my game. Uh, like I want to get better offensively. I want to get better defensively as well. Uh, so uh, I think I uh, had a good opportunity with the, this summer to uh, get stronger and get faster and uh, just get ready for the next season. I've been anxious to watch both in, in uh, the rookie and the, in the, the preseason games, I would anticipate. Today, uh, Sam Rukov got cleared um, to play. Um, you know, so obviously he's going to, Sammy can play some games uh, or will play games. I'm anxious to see where he's at. He was playing very well in the um, KHL and obviously got hurt, you know, early early to mid-January. So hasn't played hockey since since January, but... You know, he's had a, two years of pro under his belt, one year in Bakersfield, half a year, I guess, in uh, in the KHL, and and certainly excited about to see where Broberg's at. Uh, you know, do, can they force their way onto the Edmonton Oilers roster, or do they got to go down to the American League and, uh, and 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 play and kind of continue the development into NHL defensemen? That's what we got to we got to find out. But they're both here to stay in North America. About three years ago, when our staff went down there, we talked a lot about uh, how our most important job was to develop players for our parent club, the Edmonton Oilers, and uh, how how that guides everything that we do. Um, but we also felt that you could do so in a in a winning environment. We thought you could marry the two concepts uh, of development and winning. And uh, you know, as important as it is to ingrain certain habits and ingrain certain skills in our younger players things like passing and shooting and decision making and puck management all that kind of stuff is all very important they're all skills but we've said right from the beginning that winning is a skill too and we wanted our younger players to learn the skill of winning at the american hockey league level so that when their time came to play in the National Hockey League, they had that experience to draw on. Um, we've been very fortunate uh, to be the benefactors of some good hockey players and good human beings uh, that have come through the program. And uh, we're proud of uh, how far some of those younger guys have come.